today on Be Something Wonderful. Stop chasing positive thoughts and high vibes and do this instead. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video this morning. I want to talk about this client that was referring to another video or another client that I talked about just recently, I think, uh, in the last few days. When she surrendered to her higher power, when she surrendered to, the, to her wish fulfilled, when she stopped fighting against the circumstances, she, and I, I noted that she said, what the F, right? She just said, what the F? And, and $30,000 essentially fell on her lap right? Unexpectedly. Remember, she was looking for a place to live and looking for a car. And this is interesting because this other client said, Tom, I get it now. It's not, it, I was chasing trying to feel good. I was chasing trying to have a higher vibration. I, I was chasing a state of being when I, when really all I had to do was just be more aware of my, of my true nature, be more aware of, of my I am nature. So, this is, this is what was her discovery that it, this is what the ancient said, be still, but we're going to get to this because, and, and now she says she's not chasing deals. She's not chasing money. It's falling on her lap. She's in the commissioned real estate. Uh, she has a, she's a, has a career in, com, in real estate and she's, she gets commissions. She goes, and those deals are coming to me. They're just falling on my lap. I want to talk about this because and she goes, and here's the thing. I'm not always thinking positive thoughts or feeling good all the time when they come. This is interesting, right? She's moving to a state of awareness, a state of being. She's letting the thoughts and feelings be whatever they are without identifying them, without identifying with them, without saying to herself, that's who I am, right? She's the person where deals do fall in her lap, that, that abundance is hers. So I want to hit this idea in more today because one of you actually had a great post on the, on the Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. One of the ambassadors posted this, and I want to break this down as a segue into today's lesson. You posted this, when you vibrate at the low frequency, you look for the path. When you vibrate at the high frequency, the path looks for you. The idea of frequency vibration, right? The skill of consciousness, all of this. I, I get this. But hear this. Let, we really want to transcend this idea because even vibration and frequency is still a, a relative term, a term of duality. We have the highs and lows, the good and bad, right? And, and so when you identify as God, as that power, when you identify as that abundance, now you are that, right? What Jesus said in Gospel of Thomas, Right when you when you when you will be known when you when when you seek the kingdom, you will be known. Right when you seek to know yourself, you will be known. So yes, the but this idea this idea above here the idea that a low frequency you look for the path and that a high frequency the path looks for you that's true on a relative sense, but you're still focused on being separate from the path. You're still focused on being separate from the one right? There's still separation there. That is your vibration and frequency relative to the path. You're still talking about frequency and vibration relative to the path. But when you move or transcend beyond the idea of vibration and frequency altogether, you realize that you are the path. Do you see it? That's the difference. Here, yes, it's true. You're looking for the path. Here, yes, the path looks for you. But when you transcend relativity altogether and say, I am that I am, you, you, you transcend it. You become the path. You are the path. I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 16. That's why Jesus said that. I am the path. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the light. In John, he went on a rampage, right? I am the, I am the resurrection. I am the light. I am the vine, right? Who do you say I am? So, so really, we want to transcend that idea altogether, right? Because we're still going to be chasing thoughts and feelings, trying to vibrate higher. Trying, we're going to even avoid certain people or conditions because we're going, to, we're going to think that they're low vibration. We don't want to be around low vibe people. But remember, when you focus on who you are, 
and be aware of, uh, of who you are because this came up in a conversation yesterday with someone else that was selling real estate. And they said it was a difficult, she said the person was very difficult. He would, he would scream and yell, the client, right? And low vibe person, I think is what she said or somebody else said, right? He, she didn't want to be the one on those low vibes. But remember, when you focus on who you are, they're going to be at a totally different party or there's going to be a different version of them that shows up. When you focus, when you're more aware of who you are, right? Instead of trying to chase, get away from people that you believe or assume are low vibes, they're always going to be low vibes. And when you do that, there's going to be other low vibe people that are going to find you. <laughs> they're going to chase you, right? When you try to get away from it, right? When you try to manage vibration and frequency. So let's talk about this. In other words, that's why the ancients said, be still and know that I'm God. In other words, it's beyond vibration and frequency, right? God or that power within you vibrates at such a high level, at such a high frequency, it appears to be still. That's what that means, be still and that I'm God. And on the other side of that, if we talk about the scale of consciousness, remember, it's not really, it's not really a, a vertical. Those, the ends of those verticals meet, extremes meet. It's elliptical, it's oneness. So on the other side of that, that other client that felt so low, right, that, that said, you know, what the, you know, just said, what the F, right, right, and, 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 just, and just gave up, surrendered to that higher power at, at her, sort of her lowest moment. The money fell on her lap. Why? Because she was still at the lowest end. Things can, things can vibrate so slow that they appear to be standing still or they appear to be still. And that's where those extremes meet. That's where God meets God. That's where, that's where uh, the one meets the oneness. We're going to show this today. Do you see it? So whether you're really high in the skill alone, the skill doesn't matter. It's all God. All of that is just in the middle. All of that is high and low vibration, trying to manage all that. Be still and know that I'm God. Beyond vibration, beyond frequency, beyond ele energy, beyond relativity, there's just the law, the Father, the absolute, the all. The all that is, the isness, the changeless reality. Because after all, what is vibration and frequency? It's change in the changeless reality, right? That, that energy, it's that energy that moves. And then that energy moves at, at a certain rate. A rate of what? A rate of change in the changeless reality. But at the highest rate, it's not moving at all. That's why the ancient said, be still, be God. No, know that you're God, right? All power, all existence, all life. That's the absolute law. That's the source and the first cause of beingness. It's not beingness, it's beyond beingness. It's the all. Beingness comes from this first cause. Beingness or vibration or energy or frequency or consciousness comes from that first cause. It's the source of consciousness. It's the source of I am awareness. It's the source of vibration, energy, and frequency or the idea that within that I am awareness you can take on infinite forms. And those infinite forms are determined by your vibration and your frequency. That energy is this, that God, and st the stillness of God. It's the infinity. But that first manifestation is the Son of God. That's the beingness. That's the energy that has consciousness. That's the energy, that's the consciousness that's alive with movement, with vibration. And, 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 how you, and, how, and how you shape that vibration into frequencies determines the experience, the physical experience you're going to have. So infinity or infinite is no thingness. It's nothing. It's no thing. That is the all potential of everything. That God is the no thingness. It's all things. It's all time. It is no thing that is all power, all possibilities. It's everything in potential, but it's no, nothing in particular, right? It, it is the perfect unity, the one of God. It's not relative to anything. It gives birth to relativity. It gives birth to the beingness or the Son of God. Do you see this? Let's hit this a little bit more. God is. And when this changeless source of God moved upon itself, moved upon the waters, the first manifestation, the Son of God was born. The beingness of God. Being is born of this isness. Right? And f that's why it says in Scripture, for in Him we live and we move and we have our being. In what? In that beingness of God. 
We have, we live, we move, and we have our being. In other words, we have vibration, we have frequency, we have this energy, this consciousness. We can be aware of something, right? It's to be aware of something. Remember, outside, God, the isness of reality is not aware of anything outside of itself. It just is. But that first birth, that Son of God in which we are, which we are part of, which we are one with, now you become aware of something right? Other than yourself, right? The manifested universe, this is where the manifested universe and everything else comes. It's the, this is where the universal laws are born, under the law, right? Remember, the universal laws are relative laws, subject to the law, the Lord of Scripture, the isness of reality, the absolute law. Do you see it? So the laws of the universe are subject to that, what are those laws of the universe? The law of vibration, the law of frequency, the law of correspondence, the law of cause and effect, the law of rhythm, the law of polarity, the law of gender, all of those that all the ancients talk about. Those are the laws of the universe that are subject to the great law of God, the great beingness or illness or isness of reality. But that's where relativity is born. That's where the cosmos and the universe are born. And they're subject to laws. And they, and those laws are determined how you experience forms, changing forms in your physical experience in, the, in, in 3D world, in the 3D world, right? God is the great I am, the Father. I am that I am. That's why he said that to Moses. I am that I am. I am that great I am. I'm that great isness out of which everything is born, the beingness of thing, the beingness of the... Out of that beingness, then the universe is born, the next manifestation, the cosmos. And those subject to universal laws that are subject to the law, the one law of God, the absolute law, right? Christ, the son of the living God, I am. Infinite points of God consciousness of which you are one and one with all of those, right? Consciousness, I am awareness. Jesus brought love to the law, life to the law, consciousness to the law, the I am awareness to the law. Right? That's, so that, that, without Jesus, it wouldn't be the love, right? That's the love. Do not think that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. With what? With love, that love. Life, awareness of being, where you can now shape that consciousness, that, that isness of reality becomes beingness, where you can experience the infinite forms and infinite experiences of ultimate reality. That's what Jesus said, I came to fulfill. That's the I am awareness, right? I have come, that I am awareness came that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. That's you, that's the I am, that's the beingness of God, the consciousness, the energy, right? I am awareness, the sun, to experience change in the changeless. That's how you experience change in the changeless, through that beingness. And in that beingness are, are, are the laws of the universe, runs, is it, it, it changes according to the law according to the laws of the universe, right? Vibration, frequency, correspondence, cause and effect, right? To know yourself, it, why? To know yourself as source. To, to experience change in the changeless is to know yourself as source. But, here's the key, but never being changed or affected by any of those infinite forms that you experience. That's where we get hung up. <laughs> right? We identify with those changes and those forms as who we are. Right? As opposed to know that we're the awareness in which those changes take place, we start to identify with it. And this is where you have the low vibes and the high vibes and the low frequencies and the high frequencies. Right? Remember, vibrations just change. Frequency is the rate of that change. Right? So source energy manifests into consciousness. I am awareness, the sun. Right? That translates into universal energy that vibrates at infinite frequencies taking on infinite forms. Hear it again. That source energy, that isness of reality, that ultimate law above all other laws, right? Infinity, the nothingness, manifests into consciousness or awareness, the sun, that can now be anything, all potential to be anything, that translates into universal energy, right? That vibrates at infinite frequencies taking on infinite forms, but it's all source energy. It's all that one energy that is completely still, but you have the experience of, those vibra of it vibrating, of frequencies, of different forms. But it is still, it's an absolute stillness or isness of reality, right? So let's hit it a little bit more. So you have the absolute, 
the isness, the Father, the great I am, the changeless reality, all power and all potential, the first manifestations of the Son, the I am awareness, consciousness, beingness, right? That's it. That, that all power, all potential now becomes infinite power and infinite potential to be anything. And you are one point of awareness or one point of consciousness within this divine mind. Call this the divine mind of God, the first manifestation. Out of that divine mind, which you are one mind in that infinite mind. And remember, your mind's one with the one divine mind. So all power is flowing through you. But it's not your personal power. It's only at the, at the, at, at, it's, it's granted by that divine mind, right? And then you have the manifested universe, the world of the relative, right? This is where you experience infinite forms or infinite experiences in 3D reality. One being the one right now with your body and your experience, right? If you, and that's why uh, uh, Nikola Tesla said, if you wanna find the secrets of the universe, think in, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration. Well, those are the secrets of the universe because that's the secrets of the manifested universe. But, but, but it's subject to the higher law, the law of the land, the law of God, right? And, it, and that manifested universe and those laws come from the I am awareness of God, God consciousness, infinity, that I am awareness, right? From that comes the manifested universe that's subject to laws of vibration, of frequency and energy right? So source energy that vibrates at such a high frequency, it appears not to, not to move. That's what the ancients meant by be still and know that I am God. That's the great isness of reality, right? It's beyond vibration. It transcends vibration. It transcends frequency. It just is, right? This consciousness, this I am awareness, this changeless reality vibrates and experiences change, right? based on its rate of vibration of frequency, which manifests into infinite forms of experiences. That's the manifested universe. That's powerful. So let's hit this a little bit more. I and the Father are one, but the Father is greater than I. That's what that means. You're one with the divine mind. But that divine mind, that divine mind, the Son, is greater than you. Greater than you, you are a point of awareness, you're one with it, but all, that means though that all, you still have all power and all potential running through you. But, it's what, but, it, but the divine mind is greater than you. It's not your personal power, that's what that means. In other words, all power and all potential of the divine mind of God flows to you and through you as a center and point of consciousness, but one of infinite minds in the divine mind. But it's still all power, it's still all potential right? One with the Father. It's still holographic. Wherever God is, uh, is at all, the all of God is. Wherever you are at all, the all of God is, the all of you are. But you are limited to, but it, you are limited to and by your level of awareness. That's why the Father is greater. The Father is pure awareness, perfect awareness. But we're, but, but we're, we're aware of different things, so although we're aware of different things, we still have all that power still flowing through us. So the extent that, that we're more aware, the extent that we have a higher awareness of our true self, of our true nature, that's to the extent that we vibrate higher or at a higher frequency. And we are aware more of our true nature. That's what it means by degree of positivity. It doesn't, it's not attached to the changing thoughts and feelings. Those are effects. Of, of your awareness, of how aware you are. The more aware you are, of course, the happier you're going to be. The more joy you're going to experience, the more peace you're going to experience. The less aware you are, the more you're going to be subject to, to the, the prods of the pendulum or the, the great, the, uh, that greater subconscious, right? Where, you, where we call, you call those triggers, where you see something or something happened. You go, I got triggered. Right? It's because, it, remember, it depends on your degree of awareness. You don't get triggered when you have a higher degree of awareness. And even if you do, you get it, you understand it, you understand what happened. You have that knowing as I am awareness. Right? The, the more aware you are, the higher degree of positivity you have. In other words, the higher vibration and frequency, which means the greater directive power to influence change in that changeless I am awareness. You see it? You are said to be positive to lower levels of, of awareness. 
But it does, but remember, even if you're at a low level, even if like that client gave it up and said, what, you know, just said F it and gave it up, feeling very low, the extremes meet. So even at the lowest level, you, 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 you surrender to it, you become still, and then you become one with it. You're always one with it. You're never not away from it. We're going to show this. This is powerful. So here it is. Here, we think of it like this, right? That, that you, when you vibrate higher, you're higher on the scale. In other words, you have love and then you have thoughts and feelings and emotions of love and thoughts and feelings and emotions of unlike love. But those are effects, right? And so source of pure awareness, of pure, pure source energy, that's the changeless, right? And then within that changeless reality of the beingness, you have the experiences, the Son of God, the changing forms, the changing vibrational frequencies, the degree of change. And the more aware you are, the higher frequency, the higher vibration, the more the closer to source. And the less aware you are, the lower vibration, right? But that doesn't mean it's, we judge it as good and bad, right or wrong, positive and negative in a, in a, in a relative sense. It, what, that's not what it is. The positive and negative, the extremes meet. Even when you're at your lowest and, you, and, and you're at the lowest vibration, such a low vibration that it appears that, it's, that you're still, right here you're vibrating so fast or at such a high frequency that, that eventually it's changeless. It's not vibrating at all. And at the lower end, at the other extreme, it's vibrating so low, such a low frequency, it also has that experience of being still. That's where that the ancients said extremes meet. If you keep going east, you're going to end up west. If you keep going south, you're going to end up north. Those extremes meet. It's all oneness in the end. So it's not really about judging thoughts and feelings or good or bad or positive or negative. It's, what, it's how aware are you of your true nature. But either way, you can't get away from your true nature. Even when you're at your lowest and you surrender, you're still going to recognize that I am this. Extremes are going to meet. Do you see it? So it's not really about managing those temporary thoughts and feelings. It's about, this, it's about being aware of who you are, being aware of your awareness of God. Right? Remember, that's why Abraham Hicks talks about getting in the vortex. We talk about the vertical. But remember, it's not really getting into the vertical or getting into the vortex. It's to know that you are the vortex, that you are the vertical, and those extremes meet. There's only God. That's powerful. So what are the takeaways to, to this person that just said, effort and gave it up and, and money fell on her lap or to the other one that realized all sorts of deals are falling on her lap as she becomes more aware of who she really is, that she's not chasing high vibes. She's not chasing frequencies and vibrations. She's becoming what she's, she knows that the more aware she is as that I am awareness, that the higher she is in vibration, the higher she rises, right? In other words, she becomes that of which she, she is seeking. Right? She embodies her desires. She embodies that identity. Right? So this is not, remember, this unlimited and infinite power and potential is not individually yours, nor is it out there or separate from you. Do you see it? It's not individually yours, but it's also not out there or, or separate from you. That's the paradox. It is your absolute power and potential of the divine mind within which you live move and have your being. That's it. It's the absolute power and potential of that divine mind, the first manifestation, the Son of God, within which you live and you move and you have your being. You're one with it, but it's greater than you. That's what that means. It's not yours individually. It's part of that entire mind, but all power is flowing through you. Your power to create your experience of reality is not dependent upon your, ch on your changing thoughts and feelings. Those are effects. But rather your level of awareness as I am awareness. Your assumptions of who you are. Your, that's why so many talk about self-concept. But it's not about changing or improving any 3D self-concept you have. It's deciding who you really are. Right? Who you really are. Vibration, frequency, resonance, correspondence, cause and effect, all of those are the results of your level of awareness, your assumptions of who you really are. 
the higher degree of that awareness of your I am nature, the higher degree of positivity or vibration or frequency or energy, regardless of, regardless of your temporary emotions, the higher awareness you have, the higher state of being. That's what's changed in that person's life where deals are falling on her left. She says even her dating life has taken off, meeting all sorts of people. Her social life is, she said, is it, she said Tom, it's just amazing now, right? She stopped chasing high vibes and positive thoughts and even high vibe situations and high vibe people. She became the vibe. She became the path. She became the way. Right again, it, what that person said on the Facebook group is a, it's a great post, right? It's really, yes, yes, when you vibrate at low frequency, you look for the path. And yes, when you vibrate at high frequency, the path looks for you. But when you realize that you are the vibration, that you are the vertical, that you are the vortex, that you are that I am awareness, then you move beyond that idea of relativity. You transcend it and you know that you are the path. That's what we're talking about today. Stop chasing high vibes and positive thoughts and just be, and do this instead. Be that awareness. Be, be more aware of who you really are. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for joining our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. You can find us there and for being part of our membership channel. If you've joined our membership channel, thank you for being a member. If you haven't, you can check it out. There's a link below. We have uh, several live streams. We're going to have our sixth live stream on the membership channel, our fifth one on the membership channel, but our sixth live stream overall. That's going to be aired on um, we're going to go live on September 24th, Sunday morning, this month at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time. Right here in Las Vegas, we're going to go live and we're going to uh, answer your questions at your sending your info at besomethingwonderful.com. On the last live stream that's now available uh, for viewing is on the membership channel. We, we went nearly an hour, 55, 50, 55 minutes. So stay tuned, buckle up. We're also going to have a new uh, video, new content coming out on the membership channel soon. Guys, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful Studios here in Las Vegas. We'll see you soon.